Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer, and this week I'm going to show you how you can install PowerShell Core 6 with a simple one-liner on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. So stay tuned. So you might know that Windows 10 and Windows um, Server 2019, they ship with PowerShell, Windows PowerShell version 5.1. Um, but you maybe also have heard that there is a version of PowerShell called PowerShell 6 or PowerShell Core 6 or even PowerShell Core 6.2, which is the latest release. Uh, and this PowerShell Core 6 release is basically a new edition of PowerShell, which is built for cross-platform. So it runs on Windows, Mac OS uh, and Linux. And it's also built for hybrid cloud. So it comes as a side-by-side -side installation with Windows PowerShell 5.1 on Windows. So you have to basically install it uh, on your system by yourself. And again, um, we're gonna see how, how that works and how you can do that with a simple one-liner um, on your system. So here we are on my blog, uh, which I wrote about PowerShell 6. And again, you can find the link in the description. I described here um, how you like what's the story behind PowerShell 6 and then I also put in all the documentation links the official documentation to install PowerShell Core on Windows, Linux, Mac OS X and even ARM and then you can see here here's a tweet from Steve Lee which is a program manager on the PowerShell team and he created a, these awesome scripts which basically allow you to use a one-liner to install PowerShell Core 6. So here I have summarized them. You can see there is the, is the one-liner as well as some additional um, parameters. Um, the quiet one is very interesting and I will come to that a little bit later. Uh, so let's just copy that one-liner and go to the Windows PowerShell to install that on Windows. Just run that one and then it will download automatically the MSI file. And then you get into the wizard where you can click through and do the installation the same way as you would do download the, ISO, uh, the MSI file. You can also use the quite parameter and then you don't even need to click through the MSI installation here. Uh, it just installs it and after it's installed, you can use it. So let's just open up PowerShell 6 and you can see without going and finding the link to download the MSI or just finding it and, and go and download it and install it. Uh, we just use the one liner to install PowerShell 6. Now let's do the same thing on the Linux side of things. So let's go back and switch to the blog post. There is a section for the one liner for Linux. You can see here. And then if I scroll down, you can see here I have the one liner. Just copy that one. And I'm going here to the subsystem for Linux. Um, paste that on and run the command. I also need to add my password to install it. And this now will go out and download a different script depending on the Linux distribution I'm running. It will then download the right binaries um, and make sure that they're installed the right way uh, depending again on the distribution I'm running on. I can also, um, by the way, run this obviously on a normal Linux machine or a Linux server. Um, but here for me, it was easier to show that in the Windows subsystem uh, for Linux. And so let's go through um, that install. It will take a couple of seconds to download everything and basically um, install PowerShell. So now you can see um, PowerShell is installed and we can just use the command to start PowerShell uh, on our Linux machine. I hope this was helpful and I hope um, you understood what, how simple it now is to get basically install PowerShell Core 6 on all the machines you wanted to run. Uh, very important here, you can use the same commands also to update um, your PowerShell Core 6 version. So if there is a new version of PowerShell 6 Core, these scripts, uh, these one-liners will also uh, update your machines as well. So with that, 
I hope that was helpful. Again, you find all the links and to the documentation and the blog post and the one-liners in the description. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and have a nice week.